गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट रिफ्लेक्शन कोफिशियंट एट द रिसीविंग एंड एट डिस्टेंस जेड इज इक्वल टू एल नाउ टुडे वी विल कंटिन्यू दैट टॉपिक एंड वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द रिफ्लेक्शन कोफिशियंट एट एनी डिस्टेंस दैट इज एल डैश फ्रॉम द लोड साइड नाउ वी आर कंसिडरिंग द डिस्टेंस एल डैश एट दिस पॉइंट we will try to find the reflection coefficient so for that purpose if we are considering the length from load side as l dash then this length will be l minus l dash this length and we can write the wave equation forward traveling wave plus reverse reverse traveling wave as the distance is l minus l dash from here so we will modify this according to the position where we want to find the e minus gamma l minus l dash plus e gamma l minus l dash and if we want to find the reflection coefficient at distance l dash means here because this is considered from load side in previous case we have considered here as load that is at l now we are considering at any point between the line so that is at this instant it is at l dash so it will be reverse traveling divided by forward traveling so that is uh, v not minus we can write this e to the power gamma l and if we we'll simplify then we can say l dash with minus sign just i am simplifying this divided by positive e to the power minus gamma l and e to the power minus minus plus gamma l dash now if we will further simplify then we can find positive here it will be e to the power 2 gamma l multiplied with e to the power minus 2 gamma l dash and what is this this is reflection coefficient at load uh, at the end of the line so we can write it reflection coefficient at the load so we can say reflection coefficient l at distance l dash can be written as at load side multiplied with e to the power minus 2 gamma l dash because this is known to us that is equal to this and gamma can be written as load and gamma can be written as e to the power minus 2 alpha plus j beta l dash as it is usual we will talk about the lossless transmission line in that case alpha will be zero and the remaining term will be gamma load e to the power minus 2 j beta l dash this is the reflection coefficient at any length l dash from the load side in this way if we know the reflection coefficient at length of the line 
then we can find the reflection coefficient at any particular point in the line by knowing the beta phase constant. So let us take an example that is there is a line of length lambda by 4 and the load impedance is 100 ohm real part real uh, load is there and the characteristics impedance is 50 ohm then we have to find the reflection coefficient at this point so if we wish to find the reflection coefficient here at distance lambda by 4 from the load side then we can we it is required to find regarding this we have to find the at the load first then we will multiply from this so first of all let us find reflection coefficient at the load so that is z l minus z naught it is according to the formula z l plus z naught if load is real in that case we know zl z0 zl and z0 so we will put the values and we will find this is load 50 divided by 150 from here we can get gamma load is 1 by third this is the reflection coefficient at this point but our aim is to find at this point so for that purpose uh, that is at the load at the source side we will we can say gamma in reflection coefficient in uh, input side is equal to the at l dash l dash is at lambda by 4 l dash is the distance from here to here it is considered as l and the length from here at this point is con considered as L dash so that is lambda by 4 so at lambda by 4 we will say at load times e to the power minus j 2 beta L dash from this formula so L load we know reflection coefficient at load we know and e to the power minus j 2 the formula for beta is 2 pi by lambda However, the length L dash is equal to the lambda by 4. So now this will be the reflection coefficient at a distance lambda by 4 from the load side. So we can see 1 by 3, lambda lambda will be cancelled out, 4, 4 will be cancelled out, e to the power minus j pi. And if we will further simplify, then we will find cos minus pi plus j sin minus pi and from this we can say cos pi is equal to minus 1 plus 0 so the final value that we will have the reflection coefficient at this point that is input side is equal to the minus 1 by 3 so the final result will be minus 1 by 3 now let us consider the load is complex that is rl rlc lc somewhat like that not only a resistive load so in that case if the load is complex then formula it will remain same as it is z l minus z naught divided by z l plus z naught for reflect for reflection coefficient however z l can be written as r l for r l load r l plus j x 
L minus Z naught. We can write like that. R L plus J X L plus Z naught. We can write. We can write at the place of Z L the exact load, real plus inductive load. So from here we can say R L minus Z naught plus J X L divided by R L plus Z naught. Plus J X L, and if we will try to find the magnitude of this, then we can see it will be square R L minus Z naught square plus X L square divided by R L plus Z naught square plus X L square. We can write like this, and as it is the complex one, so there will be phase as well, and that phase can be written as the tan inverse X L divided by this R L minus Z naught minus this formula tan inverse X L by R L plus Z naught. So this will be phase and this will be magnitude. So from here, if the load is complex, not real, in that case, the uh, reflect coefficient will be load will be gamma load magnitude with phase j phi because of the complex nature of the load okay now if we wish to find at any particular length in between the length of the line for example that is at length l dash from the load side as we have done in previous case so let us write reflection coefficient at any distance l dash from load so in that case the reflection coefficient we will take from here so l dash will be equal to the load as we have done in previous case e to the power minus j 2 beta l dash if you remember then the formula was this and this we can place like that so it will be load times e to the power j phi e to the power minus j 2 beta l dash and after further simplification the magnitude of this with e to the power j phi minus 2 beta l dash so it will be the reflection coefficient at any particular length l dash from the load side so this is for complex load when load is other than only resistive nature so in that case this will be reflection coefficient okay and this is the reflection coefficient at the load side due to lack of time i am unable to cover the numerical problems at this stage however i will provide them to you through the tutorial say so thank you very much from the next time we will start the last unit that is the application of the wave thank you